Hello everyone, uh, this is Lens. Today I will show you local departure control system that I developed, which can be used by third party airline companies. So to log into the system, every user will have a username. So uh, here I will use my credentials here. Sign in. Right, so uh, this is the home page. So whenever a user signs in, the user will be able to see the flight information here. Currently there are no flight thresholds in the system. So uh, we will upload from a file. So uh, go to uh, upload passenger listing there. Uh, browse to the, the file. So I have my data file here. <coughs> Click on uh, upload button there. So you can see now it's uploading. A total of 1,333 uh, records. Now um, that's all the records have been uh, uploaded. So now we can proceed to the check-in um, area here. So that's a check-in option there. So here you can see all the flight schedules for today. So you can see um, different uh, flight information there. So I'll probably focus on HL 154 uh, from home to uh, Guinea. So um, um, firstly, I will have to activate the flight for check-in. So I'll change the pending status to activate it. Um, that should now allow for uh passenger listing to be loaded so uh, now you can see check-in button here is enabled so i click on it and then it will give me this page here which contains all the passengers the information there for this uh particular flight hl154 now before um proceeding with the uh, uh the uh for each of the passengers we have to set the uh, um time setting here that is the estimated uh, departure time and arrival time there and as well as morning time and the gate so i click on the edit button so i can set the time here maybe this will be um um 5 pm flight so i estimated time of arrival maybe um 6 pm one hour flight then boarding is like four maybe 4 40 that's uh Morning time and then maybe gate would be gate two. Click on submit and that should save the uh, records there, uh, the details. So you can see the uh, details have been sa saved there. Now I can check in the passengers uh, whenever they come to, to uh, the uh, check in booth. Um, you can now uh, proceed to check in. So uh, let's say uh, this uh, passenger arrives at the booth for check in. So Simply uh, search for the name, you can search for the name there, it's there, so I click on edit, and then now this way a uh, seat will be allocated to the passenger, and also do the uh, backage check-in. So uh, here, maybe I allocate the first seat there, uh, this is adult, you can also choose different options here depending on the uh, uh, passenger type, so uh, that's um, adult. So I'll choose adult submit. So you can see this now. Uh, seat one is assigned to this passenger, and then, um, you can see that the uh, flight or the plane uh, seat arrangement here, the uh, one A has been allocated, so it's disabled. So once it's done, the, do the let's click on the confirm confirmation status, and you can print the uh, the boarding pass straight away. So click on print button. And then that's it. So uh, this is the uh, um, boarding pass. So uh, we can now click on the print option there, and then we can print to a specific uh, printer. Let's do the uh, computer. Right. So uh, now after the ticket is printed, you can also print the uh, baggage tags for for the uh, the uh, baggage for the passenger if the passenger has any baggage to. Um, Check there. Simply click on plus there. Now the system captures the uh, uh, weight of each of the specific types, including the body weight. So uh, the average body weight of an adult is 62. So that's the 
um, the whole day. You can change it maybe 80. And then click on the save button there. Click save. If the passenger has additional uh, baggages, you can add them one by one. So this one would be maybe 30 clothes. And then there's a compartment that you have to, you have to choose from. So uh, FD, that's in the back. And then the uh, uh, forward FWD is the forward compartment. So that's um, let's choose forward and, and down here you can see the the um, overall um, um, weight of the packages. So you can see we're trying to add a steady close to the the forward compartment. So if we click submit, you should see this increase uh, to uh, 30 day, right? So uh, um, we can also add another one. That's uh, item two. Maybe um, 20 kilos. So we can put that in the back compartment to balance the weight of the the uh, plane. Submit. So you can see. Now you can print the uh, uh, the the um, tags. Baggage tags for these two items. So if you click on print. There you are. So that's the uh, um, uh, baggage text there which you can be you can be able to print to the uh, printer um on those um for the specific templates for back text so on the uh, text we include this information so the um the um the airline officers can uh, then put them into the specific uh, compartment and then we also have a uh, uh, manifest there, that's a departure manifest as well. So whenever we they board the plane, we they would be able to confirm the uh, the boarding status of the passengers uh, from this page here, and then we should be able to see the manifest which they can print. Thank you very much.